for you, 15 for the entire team, just, you know, kind of goes into that. I mean, how, how valuable can it be kind of the interior presence that you and Makai and the other big guys have uh, brought tonight? Uh, you know, the games that we've had so far, um, you know, I feel like we didn't do a good job, you know, a good enough job going vertical. So, you know, in practice, we've been drilling it all week, uh, just going vertical. So, you know, that's what we're getting better at it each game. I don't think you took your first shot till there were like four minutes left in the first half. Is that, you know, just you wanting to be patient and impact the game other ways or just the way the offense was going? And, you know, what did you think of your performance in the end? Because you did make some shots, had a dunk, and, you know, filled up the box for it still. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just – Maybe I felt like I was a little slow in the first half. Um, I don't know. The flow was weird. The score was, you know, just tight the whole time until, you know, the end of the half and, you know, we got to 12. But I don't know. It was just one of them games. Um, we came out with the Ws. You guys obviously fell behind by eight, and it seems like the first couple of games, maybe the three-point shooting is a little slow. One of six, game one, one of five. Then you hit a corner three, I think Battle did. It seems like your three-point shooting a little bit gets you guys going. Can you talk about that aspect of your game on offense and how it helps? Yeah, I feel like um, we shoot the ball as a team really well, um, and that helped us get on the run uh, with those big threes. So I just feel like um, guys have got to keep shooting with confidence because we, we shoot the ball really well, but we got to continue to get into the paint, um, draw, free, draw free throw attempts. Well, yeah, it seemed like like Gardner Webb, and we heard him back here before the game. They were screaming. They were all they kind of came out, fired up, and jumped on you all. 13-5. Maybe they thought they'd make a game. But what what do you think of the start of the game? And what did you guys do to really gain control there at the end of the half? You know, they came out, you know, they they, they punched us in the mouth. You know, they played harder than we expected they were going to play. You know, but <clears throat> that's on us. You know, we got to come out and perform how we perform. And, you know, the second half or, you know, late first half, that's how we got to play the whole game. <laughs> you know, and we paid for it in the beginning of the half. Yeah, I feel like we got to start the game way better. They came out ready to play and we weren't ready. I feel like as the game went on, like we picked it up and we started fighting back, but we got to start the game off way better. Than I thought he was really, his passing was really good. His defense, he just seemed like he was moving the ball. What would y'all, maybe each of you, maybe Trevor, you pick up first. What y'all think of the impact Makai had? And how good was it to see him maybe have a game like that when he didn't hardly play the other night? You know, he's an older guy, so, you know, he's, he's played a lot of college basketball. Um, he has a high IQ. You know, he rebounds really well. And like you say, you know, he can he can pass really well. So, um, you know, just him continuing to do that, you know, it's going to be great for us. Yeah, he impacts our team in uh, many ways. Mm -hmm. In our last game, he really sets the tone with the uh, catch at the elbow, um, really get guys involved. He rebounds it hard. He runs the floor. He sets uh, ball screens for us really well, so um, he played really well. Now. L3, a couple of official games now. Just curious how you assess your play to this point. What are, what are you proud of? What do you maybe want to work on going forward? Um, honestly, I'm just happy to be able to be on a winning team, be able to win. That's my main thing. Um, to get played with a really good group of guys. I got a great staff. So really for me, I'm just having fun winning. Um, and that's all that matters to me right now. My playing speaks for itself as the game's going. You guys have had back-to-back -back games from battle with more than 20 points coming off of the bench. Uh, just what have you guys made of, of his start and the importance of having that kind of pop in the second unit? Uh, you know, we know what he can do. You know, we we watched him, uh, you know, the whole offseason. You know, he's probably one of the better shooters, you know, that I've played with so uh, just continue to you know let him get the ball keep his confidence high um you know and you know you know we know we can we know what we can do yeah we we all know that he can really score the ball um that's his game he scores the ball at the high level so and it doesn't matter if he comes off the bench or not like that's what he's gonna do no matter what so. yeah last two games y'all play teams that are good offensive rebounding teams but you've done you've checked that and done more than held your own there What's been the key there after that Purdue challenge and where that one landed on the offensive lines? Um, I would say we really um we talked about it a lot um throughout the whole staff. The staff talked to us a whole lot about it. Um, I just feel like we just just got to play harder, get those offensive rebounds, get those defensive rebounds. That's really all it comes down to. Teams are gonna crash the glass really hard because they're smaller teams that are playing right now. So we got to be able to go there and get the boards like he was doing that that segment. He got like six, seven rebounds by himself. So. For both of y'all, I'm sure 
the Nicholas kid was pretty high up on the scouting report. Held him to three points, one of nine from the floor. What was kind of the key to, to slowing him way down? Um, you know, each game, we try to, you know, take their star out of it. Uh, not let their star have a good game. You know, obviously he's, you know, one of their better players. So just limited to him to, you know, uh, you know, no threes and, uh, you know, containing on the dribble drive. Uh, and I, think, I feel like we did a good job tonight. What was the key from the guard spot, L, on, on Nicholas? Uh, really just the pressure on making him uncomfortable. Um, don't give him any easy looks. Um, every time he comes off a ball screen, uh, keep him in coverage. Every time he comes off a pin down, we're chasing him and trying to be physical with him. That's really what we do with every star on each team. It's like the game one to game two differences in Kyle. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, he's going to go out there and do the, you know, the same thing every time. It's just a matter of, you know, how much he's out there. So, you know, I don't feel like it, you know, wavered that much. He is pretty consistent. Bob, you got a final one? Okay, well, they follow up on the 15 blocks. Uh, you know, I think you were one of the few guys, no offense, that didn't have a block shot, but uh, I know it's probably not your game. But, well, you know, from your standpoint, how much does that help the team? I'm sure – Gardner Webb must have felt intimidated. I mean, say 15 blocks, who knows how many altered shots. You know, what what was the impact, do you think? Uh, that was a big impact because we, us guards, we pressure the ball so much. Like, and we're going to get beat sometimes. So to have guys back there that's going to protect and reinforce, um, that's great. And I didn't have any blocks, but I had six rebounds today. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Did you feel like, did you get a sense from them? Like, oh, man, they're, you know, that, that they were sort of flinching or, it was altering shots or affecting them. Uh, you know, with the guards, yeah, but you know, number zero, man, he was he was fearless in there. I got to give him credit. Where credit's due. You know, he was relentless around the rim. But uh, you know, I feel the the guards were just dribbling under the basket and just coming back around, kind of Nash dribbling. You know, I think that was because you know fit the fifteen box. So. One more thing you guys are playing Monday, I guess. So it's a bit quick turnaround. I guess it's gonna be the third game in the eight days, second game in three days. How do you feel about? I mean, personally, you know, I'm excited. You know, I haven't been able to get out there and play you know, games for almost close to a year or so. I don't care you know, what people had. I'm excited to be out there. Yeah, I'm just excited to play. It mm, doesn't matter what day we play. I'm just ready to get out there and play, honestly. Trevin, um, in preseason, you kept saying you didn't want to get back to be 100%. You wanted to be 110%. How close to 110% do you feel? I feel like I'm, I'm at like 120 probably now. I feel like I've been at 110 for a while, so I feel great.